y'all. So my client today will begin the side part quickly. First, I am going to just part her hair to her liking. However, she likes her side part either deep or just a regular, you know, side part. <laughs> Part for the leave out, I do one braid on one side and another braid on the other side, and I separate the edges just to give it not too much leave out but just enough to lay and cover the track. Now that I'm finished doing the braids for the leave out, I am now going to do the quick leave braids. No man, the comb, I dropped the comb. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. <laughs> So I end up doing five braids as I said, now I'm just oiling her scalp, we're going to put the cap on, and put some morning glory and steal her under the dryer. Another thing I didn't say was that when I do the braids, I don't connect them at the back, I just braid all the way down and then when I put the cap on, I flip it, just because it gives a more flatter back instead of the, you know, when you connect the braids, it's like a bulk in the back, you know, I just flip it. And I'm just going to cut her ears out. After I connect the braids, I do do an outline on the glue on the perimeter of that leave out. Just so that the cap could be down secure once I cut it when she's underneath the dryer. Y'all, please do not do nobody here without no morning glory. I'm telling you, you do not want to do it. When laying the tracks, you don't want to lay them too close together in the back or the front neither so that it could be nice and full enough but not too bulky and full. Just about like an inch away from each other.
when you start getting towards the front of the hair you want to curve the track slightly on the side that has the most hair you can curve them on the other side but it just really depends on the look you're going for You just want to keep outlining the perimeter with the tracks as you go up and just fill it all the way through. Once you get on your last track, you want to do an outline it around the leave out. You just do a full outline it where the leave out starts and where it ends. <laughs> Once I do the outline, I'm just going to spray the top with some of my spray and take the hot comb and flatten around the perimeter of the top. After we do that, we're going to start taking down the leave out braids and getting the hair as straight as possible with the hot comb and the flat iron. All the hot tools that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description. The hot comb. This is the only hot comb I use. The Andis hot comb, which is the best hot comb. And yeah. Once I hot comb it, I'm going to start using my baby voice flat iron to get it as straight as possible. Right there, I just used my Karen Care Slick Stick at the ends of the hair, not at the root, just at the ends, so the ends can blend more.
make sure y'all using heat protecting spray every time you put heat on your client's hair so you won't burn it out. Now I'm just going to straighten it just like I did the other side to both sides so I can get my part as clean as possible once both sides are straight. Once I got my part straight, I'm going to take my spray and spray one side of the leave out and blow dry and hot comb it down. When molding it down, you only want to mold the top half where it's just the hair and the track. You don't want the hair to be stuck to the tracks on its way down. So just do like the top beginning. Make sure you clean your part as you go and do the same to both sides and separate your edges as you go. That's going to be your last step. Once I feel like the leave out is laid to my liking, then I'm just going to take my flat irons and curl the edges. So now we can start doing the edges and swooping them just the way I like them. <laughs> you have to blow dry and soup at the same time it's like you gotta blow dry it stop soup it shape it blow dry it stop soup it and shake it i'm only doing my edges with i said my edges her edges with my spritz which is alexia slay's ponytail mist but i use it on everything because it works good on everything Yes, I'm leaving this whole edge clip on here so y'all can see exactly how they come out in the whole process because it's not easy just doing it with spritz. It really takes time. Not 
I'm telling y'all, the link is in the description, y'all better grab y'all some, the restock is March 5th, today it is March 2nd, that I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go through the hair with the flat iron since the edges are done. I'm going to use my flat irons and my hot comb just to go through it and blend it all the way through. Once you put you some finishing gloss on the top, and that's gonna be your last final step. Yes, all you gotta do is say yes. 